Hello everyone, I'm Dex here, welcome to episode 123 of Messenger Let's Play. So in the previous episode I started looking into the power armor suits and the final conclusion was uh, the three armor suits, which are the legs, the torso and the feet, are something that I'm probably not going to use, however the helmet is something that I can use and I'm actually planning to use, at least uh, for the near future. We'll see how that turns out to be. Uh, so I'm using that, and if you missed that, I'm using um, the Aurometer upgrade, the Night Vision upgrade, uh, the Elite battery, the Solar Generator, and the Water Electrolyzer, Auto Feeder, and the Energy Shield. And we'll see how that turns out to work. So for the time being, that's what I have, and that's what I'm using. Uh, now the power cool is something that I haven't touched in the previous episode, but I really would like in this one. So let's start to take a look on how exactly that works. So apparently the power tool is kind of a multi-tool, or potentially a multi-tool that can do pretty much anything, it seems. So, to be honest, I'm interested in pretty much everything here, so let's get everything. So the first thing, let's get battery. Let's go for the Elite battery. And cosmetic stuff, not very interested. Okay, let's look for the plasma cannon. Use electrical arcs in the containment field to superheat air to a plasma and latch it at enemies. Well, that's, to be honest, not very interesting. Um, Billy assist a much simpler add-on makes your power tool punch hit harder. Basically makes it into a weapon. Um, that could be useful. Um, I wonder, do I want that or not? It's a lot cheaper. Not let's make that. Basically, there is carry through. Oh, that's uh, how much knockback every hit will have, and impact probably increases the damage. You can increase it up to 10 points of damage. That's quite high. <laughs> okay, let's try that. Um, the X. Okay, let's apply the X upgrade. So I'm going to need solenoid and iron. I'm going to need more and more and more. Okay, so let's get some solenoids, which I have. Just need some iron. To apply all the different tools upgrades, it's going to basically be a multi-tool. So the X upgrade. Overclock. Oh, I can modify the speed of which it harvests. Actually, I don't really need an X upgrade. Well, I just installed it, it doesn't make any difference. You know what, let's just have everything. A pickaxe upgrade, let's make it as fast as possible. And a shovel upgrade, as fast as possible. And let's also have a multimeter upgrade. Uh, that's interesting, I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna work, but let's give it a try. Aqua affinity, make it work faster on the water, sure, why not? Let's make it at 100%. Uh, percent. Diamond drill upgrade, basically, I guess, yeah, makes it mine uh, obsidian. So let's do that. I'm going to need some diamonds for that. Makes things balanced. So, because you're always going to need some diamonds to be able <coughs> to mine uh, obsidian. So let's do that. Uh, in place assembler, large crafting grid on the go. Um, yeah, I'm going to pass that. And. Blink Drive. This is actually interesting. The Blink Drive is something that I definitely want to check. Energy Storage. I think I'm going to try and go for a larger battery. It's going to be heavier, but it's going to have a lot more storage in terms of power. And that's it. So let's see how does that, that tool work. Now, in terms of um, key bindings, I guess some things can be turned on and off. Mostly the blink drive is what's probably going to be interesting to be controlling. Uh, it looks like this bubble thingy. So I don't seem to be able to control it. Is it... Do I just right click or something? No. How do I blink then? No. Clearly not those buttons because they control the minimap. Um, but I don't see it here. Shovel Pickaxe, Axe, Aqua Affinity, Melee Assist, Transparent Armor, Water Electrolyzer, Auto Feeder, and Night Vision. None of them... If I remove this, does it change? Yeah, it changes, but... I installed the Blink Drive, didn't I? Blink Drive. Yeah, it's installed, so how do I use it? Okay, never mind that. Let's see how exactly can I... 
break stuff and how much energy does it consume probably should remove this quickly because I'm gonna have a hard time tracking everything um, right now it's barely charged I think it's slowly being charged by the helmet but barely uh, how fast does it break wood well, not bad how fast does it break dirt okay this is fast yeah, this is very fast. And how fast will it break stone? So, some stone. By the way, you can see that the, everything seems bright. That's because of the night vision helmet. If I take that off, now everything seems like the way it should be. Basically, barely nothing. The helmet gives me night vision, which is very convenient. Okay, so breaking stone also very nicely. The highlight here is, of course, the fact that I can carry that thing instead of carrying a pickaxe and an axe. However, the thing is, I don't know if I'm really interested in that. I don't know the axe has a capability which other axes doesn't have, especially this power tool doesn't have either, which is like break blocks from the from the furthest to the closest, and the pickaxe. Well, the pickaxe has fortune. Can I enchant the power tool? For some reason, I'm feeling that I can't, but we'll see. Let's see. Can I enchant it? Yeah, I can't enchant it. That's something that's also kind of a drawback. So, the only potential thing that actually interests me is the blink drive, but I have no clue how to turn that on. So, let me try and figure that out. Oh, okay. So there is some fancy additional uh, guided user interface that I didn't notice. If I hold shift and uh, scroll the mouse wheel, you can actually see above my armor values uh, the two two things moving. So it's either be the multimeter or the blink thingies. It basically works like uh, uh, throwing ender poles, but uh, yeah, it's not using any ender poles, so that's kind of nice. And it seems to be in a straight line. That's also useful. Uh, in terms of energy. I don't know how much actually it uses, but that's actually quite convenient. Even very convenient. How far does it go? Apparently very far. Good thing that I have my armor stuff. That's actually useful. Even very useful. And now let's see in terms of uh, the multimeter, let's see how that works. Travel speed is kind of odd. We need to get used to it. Okay, let's see in terms of the multimeter. What can it actually track? I would assume it can track uh, industrial craft. Uh, or not. Ah, I guess not. So what can it track exactly? Hmm. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. Um, I think it's basically supposed to be tracking a type of energy that's simply on the mod that I'm not playing with, which is the Universal Energy mod, which is something that simply I don't have installed, so I guess that's what uh, that multimeter is for. So that's kind of irrelevant uh, for me. Um, overall, I think that I'm probably not going to use the power tool because if I'm only going to use it for the blink drive, which is actually quite nice, it could be, it has its uses. You can also, I think, spam that and do this kind of things if you really want to. Yeah, it has some, well, that, that's, that's the same with, with ender poles. You can do kind of funny things with it if you really want to, like, go through walls. Uh, let's give that an example or do this, apparently. Um, yeah, overall, that's not something probably I'm going to use, so I think, eventually, I'm probably only going to use the helmet, and we'll see how that turns out to be, and uh, let's increase, let's try and boost the helmet abilities, so my net vision cannot be boosted, my orometer cannot be boosted, my elite battery, let's increase the elite battery, so it's going to wait more, but also have a lot more um, energy, the auto feeder is already to maximum capacity, the water electrizer is like that, the armor is giving me full strength, and the transparent armor doesn't have any value. Okay, so my thing now has 650 kilojoules of energy. Can I charge that up uh, using an MFSU? Yep, I guess I can. Although it should charge itself eventually using um, the solar panel 
but yeah that's actually really cheap to charge so there is no problem there all right so that's power suits armor um probably because of the fact that i already have my quantum suit that kind of renders this mode kind of useless in my opinion because most of what i got used to in in the quantum suits uh, cannot be replicated using the power suits or simply is weaker um, so yeah okay so now that I've got all my Elvia production system uh, incorporated into my applied energy sticks I think it's time to clear this area a little bit so start removing those things here uh, so the first thing is let's get rid of all the excess uh, honey that I have stored up in my system so I'm gonna need some cans to do that uh, let's get uh, let's just get a bunch of cans and use them. So all the excess honey that I have in the squeezers here and in the liquid ducts, simply gonna have them moved into this liquid transposer. But because it already has some seed oil in here, the best thing I can think of doing is simply remove it and replace it. And this way I can start filling up again and get rid of all the inner all the buffers of honey that I've got stored up in here. So it's gonna take a little bit of uh, time, but this will slowly get rid of everything. I can also start, well, there are 10 cans of honey here, but I don't think I can actually empty it. I think the best solution for this will simply to be to create um, the scented paneling with all the possible materials that I can, and then uh, this way use the honey instead of just wasting it because I cannot collect honey out of a carpenter at least as far as I know so let's try and do that then uh, so let's get some pollen some royal jelly some beeswax I'm just assuming here that actually no let's have the actual uh, numbers so for one scented paneling I'm going to need half a bucket so probably yeah I can make 20 of them yeah, so let's just grab a stack of each and that will be pretty much enough. So stack of beeswax and let's get some wood. Probably need, I need, let's get two stacks of wood though. Okay, so one and two. Just drop them in here and let the carpenter run through the process of crafting the, be the scented paneling while using all the internal honey in here. And I can also start removing the squeezers. So that's one, that's two. This is all them gone. The liquid that can also be removed. And this is probably still doing something. Nope, it's finished. It's got a quarter of a bucket, but yeah, it's kind of, I'm not gonna bother with it. This can also be removed. I'm going to keep the power line here for now to let my carpenter finish. Probably should go to sleep. Yeah, that's the problem. When I have my night vision helmet, uh, it's kind of sometimes hard to notice that the fact that it's nighttime and there are creepers, so that's kind of dangerous. Okay, so this uh, is gone. I'm going to keep the power line here for a little bit just to let uh, the carpenter finish its scented paneling crafting. I can probably move the acclimatizer. Uh, let's move it to the rest of the machines, the rest of the extra piece machines. So right over here. Can probably, no, let's just connect it like this. So this and acclimatizer. Not using the acclimatizer, just use it once, but since I already have it, let's not, there is no reason just to get rid of it. Um, probably, can I gravity gun the chest? I don't recall. Let's try. Where is my gravity gun? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay, so can I gravity gun the chest instead of breaking it? Yep, I can. That's good. So this chest will be here. I'm not sure what this block is doing. Oh, that's kind of hiding this. Okay, so now this area cleared up a little bit. I can use uh, probably another alveary if I want to. What is this chest storing? I don't know. 
Okay, I'm gonna let this finish. Okay, so the carpenter is finished, just finished creating those 20 sentence paneling, so let's break it. And you can already see I started making everything a little bit more uniform here, it was quite ugly for a very long time. So this will look a little bit nicer now, without all those things in the middle of the area. So that looks a little bit nicer, let's also fill up the rest with dirt to make it more natural, or slightly more natural. That seems fine, you can also use some dirt here instead. And yeah, that seems relatively okay. So now I have a little bit more room to deal with bees here, which actually makes sense because this is what air, this area is supposed to be doing. All the honey and seed oil production has been moved downstairs anyway, so there is no reason to use it here. And in terms of scented paneling, I'm just going to have them back in my system and when my system tries again to create a set of elderberry blocks, it's going to use those instead and, weigh, and save some products like beeswax and royal jelly for the next round. Basically, it's going to simply save them. Okay, I'm running really low on quartz because I stopped mining quartz, yet my red power quarry still haven't reached quartz. Let's actually take a look at my red power quarry, see how that's doing. Okay, so um, I think... did I hit quartz yet? Quartz is usually around... seems to be 60 to 30 height so far from my experience. It seems to be around those areas and doesn't seem like I've managed to get any yet so yeah I'm kind of frozen on my quartz well I'm not I don't need that much but it will be a nice thing to have a spare of um, but you know what I don't like that I don't like the fact that I don't have enough quartz and let's take care of that this is also something that I wanted to do for quite some time. I've tried to do this many episodes ago, but it went quite wrong. But now that I have a lot of other stars, I'd like to give it a try. And what I'm talking about doing is using Thumbcraft Mining again, but this time around make it a little bit more advanced. So this is going to be a small project that I actually wanted to do quite some time ago, but it got delayed. But finally, it's, let's get to do this. So first, let's start. Let's get. Let me get all my thaumaturge gear. So whenever I'm do, casting things, I'm um, um, wasting less vis in the aura. Uh, let me get my th one of the thaumaturge. And what I'm going to need is to create. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use the ore manipulation method, but I'm going to create four of those. So let's create, yeah, I'm going to need to create four of those, which means uh, 16 mixed crystal clusters, which is a lot of uh, things. And yeah, let me get everything that I need, hopefully. All right, so first I'm going to craft uh, all my crystal clusters, and actually, even though I'm going to need only 16, I'm going to craft a lot more of them. I, I placed a stack of each to craft them uh, to begin with, but I don't really know if I'm going to go for a stack each. And I'm going to use a lot of those Essentia uh, files that I've been storing over time. And, of course, I'm going to need some Permutatio. I think I'm going to go for seeds for Permutatio. Let's see if there's anything else that I can use instead, which I have a lot of. Can I actually get aspects from here? Yeah, I can. That's This is useful. So, let's see what has most Permutatio, which I have a lot of. Because Permutatio, I'm barely storing. I'm using it for a lot of different things. Silver has it. Uh, what else has it? Preferably a B product would be perfect because I have so many of those. Um, but doesn't seem like there is any. Yeah, nope. Coal, coke, and I'm already getting to the point where... Oh, I could use pulsating propolis for the alienis thingy. That's useful. That's good to know. Oh, honey drop has two, but I'm going. Honey is kind of precious. I do exactly the same. Okay, and I'm getting to the point where I simply don't have enough of a product to actually use it properly. Uh, so, yeah. Now let's use honey. Each honey has two, and honey do exactly the same, so let's get uh, two of two stacks of each and use that. By the way, how is my honey and seed oil production going? I like keeping track of that, because if my if either of those gets filled up, it's going to clog everything. However, right, it seems to be fine. Okay, so I have enough full on seed oil and full on honey. And in terms of um, 
backlog of those okay so i got half a stack of honey and eight seed oil cans as a buffer to work with so that's pretty good okay um let's wear my thaumaturge set so the cost of everything goes down um i think however though yeah because i'm using the power armor and not the goggles themselves i'm not actually Ooh, this is actually not so great I'm gonna need to craft new goggles because they actually don't uh, provide me with the extra minus five additional bonus because right now you can see on the bottom right I only have minus five percentage that means all my spells cast will be 95% uh, cost instead of 100% cost so something that would have cost uh, say 200 Vs to do would only cost 120 and 190 and when I'm wearing goggles that actually goes to 10% and I'd like to do that because I'm gonna go for a lot of casts now so rather actually create a new pair of goggles that will be the good thing to do so let me quickly do that okay something interesting is happening and I think the power armor has something to do with it every time I try to pull a carrot out of my inventory it just disappears now I think that's not a bug and I actually think the power armor kind of stores a backlog of food, but when will it stop? Yeah, it definitely do does something. I don't know if it's intentional. I think something is wrong here. Like, it seems to be storing an infinite amount of supply. It just took out like 10 stacks of carrots and it just keeps going. You can just see... Yeah, something is wrong here. I think that <laughs> this thing it doesn't work the way it should. Okay, let's get rid of it for now. I don't know what's what's up with that, but that's kind of broken, I feel. Okay, let's get carrots. I just wasted more than a thousand carrots, but what can you do? Try to get uh, carrots to use the visum aspect on them. And the result was me just, I don't know, feeding my helmet apparently an infinite amount of carrots. Okay, let's get my goggles. And I can also charge, enchant them this time around. Previous time they were having some really bad enchants. I'm not level uh, 30 though. Okay. And let's enchant them. Okay, so I got, yeah, crappy enchants. But what can you do? Okay, so let's wear that. And... Now I can properly create the crystal clusters recipes using this, this, and all of those. So for every, uh, wait, I'm gonna paste the recipe first. So this, 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 uh, this, and the red ones. Okay, so I'm gonna need one Precantio file, one Vitreous file, and four of drops for each craft, so that's one, two, one, two, three, four. Over time it's gonna create those apple uh, aspects, but there is nothing I can do about it, so there is one. And it's slightly more efficient. I think if I take off my gear, that turns, yeah, you can see the cost is 100 vis, but when I wear my gear, that cost turns to be only 90 Vs. So after 10 crafts, it's worth it. You basically gain a free craft, so that's kind of nice. Okay, I got to the point where my wand is simply. Uh, I just I emptied the entire charge. I made 20, nine, uh, 20 of those. And it's only it's getting recharged very very slowly. Let's see if I can I uh, kind of travel around and make it recharge faster. Okay. Uh, to sleep first okay so okay so i'm moving around definitely finding this from other ores yeah there is something moving around here i think i probably would like to plant more of those silver trees yeah i think that will be a good idea to do before going any further yeah, there is this flux node right here, which simply is about to die. 
Well, it's gonna reach, get recharged eventually, but... You know what, let's start planting around more of those silverwood trees. And... Yeah, let's do that. that. I think that will be a good idea to do. I, I think once the tree is planted and grows into the the node, basically, you can. I think you can take it down. We're we'll, we're about to find out. Um, yeah, let's take a quick break from this. I want to make something which I've researched before, but I haven't used because I didn't know what it was for. But now I do. Uh, let's do that. Okay, I got also my twenty crystal clusters. Seem to be. Quite a nice number. Um, yeah, let me clear my inventory a little bit. Okay, so what I want to craft now is actually a very simple tool. It's the Thomium Grafter. And the Grafter is a tool that's actually quite interesting. It comes from Forestry and I guess uh, Thumbcraft kind of adds uh, support for that by adding its own type of tool. Uh, it's very simple to craft, nothing too fancy, just uh, stick and two Thomium ingots. So that's extremely simple to craft. Let's quickly do that. And it's very useful because grafters, the way originally grafter works is it's simply when you use it on a, on a leaf block of a tree, it will 100% all of the time will always drop uh, a sapling. What am I doing wrong? Oh, wait, I need uh, 160 Vs. Okay. Uh, but when you use a Thermium Grafter, you can enchant it, and obviously you can enchant a Thermium Grafter to repair itself, so you don't have to craft it more than once. Obviously I'm going to need some levels to do that, so let's get some. I think I should turn on my Snowball Deployers again. Okay, so let's enchant that. And we got it repaired too. I think it can only repair it too, just simply to repair itself, because when you use it, it loses durability relatively fast. So... Let's take that, and I think now breaking the silverwood tree leaves, I can kind of 100% guarantee that I'm going to get my saplings back and be able to replant them. So that's kind of a good thing. Uh, let's get my armor on, so I can probably run, jump, and boost. It's a problem that once you get when, once you get used to it, you kind of can't let it go. Yeah, let's wear this. I want to tra keep track of my aura notes, see if they disappear or something. Although my wand at the moment is kind of stealing all the Vs available in the area, so it doesn't make too much sense, but let's see. Okay, so if I break this... Okay, it didn't drop a sapling. Doesn't it work for silver trees? Even though this is a Thumbcraft item which should have support. Okay, this is weird. It also doesn't repair itself because there's barely any Vs in the aura. Okay, so let's just break the tree normally. And hope for saplings to drop. I don't have much other choice. Would have expected the grafter to be 100% success chance, but I guess not. Well, it also doesn't recharge itself because I have no Vs in the area. Yeah, I should really look back into getting those uh, pure bees again, those ones that regenerate aura. Let me do that, actually. I did, you know what, let's do that quickly. I did work on the Edenic bee, and I should be able to have some of those. Yeah, definitely got a nice amount of those. Let's try and extract the species from them. Okay, so I got the Edenic species serum. However, I don't think I really need that, because the next step in the generation will simply be the actual Aware Bee, which then be combined with the Stark Bee. However, I did want to extract it, you know, just to have it. Uh, and the Aware Bee is simply created by combining the Edenic Drone with the Demonic Drone, or Demonic Princess. So, Edenic I only have Drones of, but Demonic I should have Princesses of. There we go. got five of those. Uh, let's get two sets and try to breed them in the Nether. Because from past experiences, usually those bees need to be bred in the nether, the demonic princesses. I uh, probably should get some soul frames. I should also uh, remove the crafting area from here to the actual uh, nether. And uh, not the nether, but the logistics network. It will be a good idea, but let's do it here. Okay, I already have some soul frames here. That's good to know. Um, but let's replace them with new frames. So they will last longer. So this one and this one. 
And I can just restore the durability on those by vanilla repairing them. Is always good. Okay, they sh neither of them should really complain because they, they are demonic and they have every possible type of flowering here, so that should be fine. So we'll let them do their job and hopefully mutate. Okay, doesn't seem like I managed to get actually any saplings, and this is quite <laughs> not so great. Um, I wonder, this is actually interesting. Can the silverwood sapling be analyzed with the tree -alyzer? That was probably Chinese for most of you, but let's give that a try. That's, I'm gonna have to do something about my aura before continuing with the project, so this is kind of on a delay, my crystal clusters thingy. Until I cannot actually properly do this, uh, I'm not helping anyone. So, uh, do I have more saplings? I should. Although I don't even know where they are. Or maybe I haven't. They ran out. I used to, I, I had a nice amount at some point I was going on and killing all those silver trees at some unused age. But it seems like I used all of them. Or did I place them here? Nope, seems like I got, like I used all of them. Is there a recipe for silverwood saplings? Like some odd recipe? No. So the only re real way to get them is simply break down silver trees and hope for the trees to drop the saplings, although it doesn't seem to work that very well. And the ore seems to stay the same, although it doesn't regenerate and... Yeah, it comes from here. And my one simply absorbs everything. Does the grafter work on normal trees? Yeah. Okay, one. Okay, maybe it doesn't work on normal trees either. Or maybe it simply decreases the chance, but not 100%. Shouldn't this be 100%? Hmm. I guess I misunderstood the way it works. Alright, so not, not seeing the episode length, I think it will be a good point to wrap it up. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to do that much in that episode. Kind of a lot of botched experiences and failures, both with the power tool, which I just... Uh, doesn't seem to work that much for me once I got used to the pickaxe of the core next of the stream. And also uh, having troubles with the aura here. However, hopefully, if that mutation is successful... And it doesn't seem to be, at least not yet. Uh, I probably will be able to breed um, the pure vis bees, which in theory, as far as I understand it, should be able to really help regenerate the aura in an area. It's supposed to be a very advanced tool and hopefully something that will work out for me. Alright, so as always, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.